everyone. Thanks for watching my 2022 archery mule deer hunt here in Nevada. Um, so I'm kind of just going to give a little bit of backstory before getting into the video. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this part is going to be at in the video, but, uh, yeah. So, um, I have been on a, like a, talked to a, with a couple of people. So those stories might be coming out pretty soon. Um, but so yeah, basically I was going to school down in Arizona, uh, basically from September through, uh, December, um, just a regular semester. And, and so I was, I wasn't able to get on the mountain. I wasn't able to look, scout, really do anything. I'm relatively familiar with the mountains. So I had that on my side, but, um, yeah, I was just trying to, uh, just basically be on, on X all the time and figure out what to do from there. Um, I got back and, um, I basically was just hitting the mountains hard, um, hiking miles, um, driving up different roads, glassing for hours and, um, all throughout the, all throughout the zone. And so basically just trying to get as much scouting as I could. I had about a week. Um, I was back home for, uh, for Thanksgiving break. And then from there I was able to have, I took another week off of school and then I was able to get out and actually start hunting. So the Sunday before the hunt started, so the hunt started on a Thursday. And so, uh, the Sunday before that we had gotten out and up until this point, I'd seen maybe a nice four by four, you know, um, actually that's my 2021 buck, probably like roughly that size. So, you know, nice buck, not giant though. Um, and I'd seen a couple of those, uh, those class of bucks, but not really what I was looking for, um, because this is one of the better tags to draw in Nevada. And so we got out that one morning, not seeing too much. It was about probably eight o'clock. And then my brother spots these does out on this ridge and we're just like trying to figure out, oh, okay, what is, what's going on? Maybe there's a doe in because this is like peak rut towards the end of the rut. So, um, we end up just not seeing a buck with him, but you know, buck can show up, show, uh, show up out of nowhere. And, and so waiting for my brother-in-law and my sister to get up. So they drive up, he throws, uh, binos up. Oh, I got deer. So like, oh yeah, but, uh, we just, we were just looking at those. So we didn't see any bucks with him. He's like, there's a good buck with them. And so I throw up my binos and biggest buck I've ever seen by far, you know, no contest. Um, and so for me and all of us to look at that buck and realize that it's the biggest buck that any of us had ever seen was pretty crazy, especially because it just came out of nowhere, you know, just, it was just a couple of does chilling on the mountain, getting some sun and then boom, all of a sudden just giant buck 200 class buck um pops up out of nowhere and so we go kind of crazy we're about probably eight or nine hundred yards away up on a hill glassing them so you know we're not you know we could talk at regular volume and we're not gonna scare them or anything so i mean this is a couple days before the season too so um how the season works is there's like a bunch of different seasons there's like a early or regular archery uh i think this is a, a rifle and then a late rifle muzzleloader or no it was muzzleloader then late rifle then late archery which is what i had and so we were scouting and glassing during the rifle season and so we were just worried this buck was going to get shot by the rifle hunter and so i basically just had to put that buck out of my mind and hope that he didn't get shot and that we could find him again once the season started um, but yeah, I'll show a picture right now of the buck. And it's just a giant. And this is the best view we got because I didn't have my phone scope on or anything. And so, yeah, we ended up just looking at this buck and uh, I knew that was the buck that I wanted to shoot. Uh, so season opens on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Um, yeah, so today we hiked up about four miles into the into the mountains and then saw this nice four by four. Um, don't 
don't know if he's a first day shooter, but uh, definitely a contender for uh, when I'm back from school around the 18th. And then we saw the other, we saw this other buck with him like half an hour later. It's way smaller, four by four. Um, then we found another buck bed with some does. Uh, just a little three by three, um, three by four, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think this side of the range is gonna be the best. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go over to that other shot where we saw the giant and that couple other decent bucks. We're gonna go ahead over there and opening day and try and see if we can get a couple stocks from them. I mean, I got about three and a half weeks to hunt, so not super pressed for time. Um, just gonna see what's up here. I'll have a couple people out glassing so I can keep eyes on a couple of the places but yeah pretty good day um trying to get off the mountain right now and go get some food probably gonna sleep in tomorrow and then uh get out for the evening and glass a little bit but yeah pretty good day a couple days before the season I'm getting pumped up gonna get um, all my arrows sorted out get my broad head sighted in tomorrow um, and then yeah get out early get the first first light on Thursday and hopefully get eyes on a good buck but yeah so far so far pretty good scouting results been pretty concentrated on this one area so liking what I'm seeing hopefully turn out that giant uh, opening weekend I only have four days to hunt on a uh, opening weekend so yeah, hopefully we'll turn something up but <laughs> Welcome to the first video on the Drop Time Addiction page. This is the opening day of my 2022 late season mule deer hunt here in northern Nevada. So just looking forward to this day for a really long time and it's finally here. So we're just out up early. It's 530 right now and uh, going to just get up the get up the road a little ways and go for a hike and just get up onto some high ground before sun gets up uh totally try to find some deer not sure how today's gonna go there's a lot of weather right now um the wind's gonna supposed to pick up here pretty soon and the uh and some snow is supposed to come in don't think it's gonna be too much but i think the visibility is gonna be what's gonna hurt us today most of all but yeah looking forward to it uh any day that I'm, that I'm hunting is a good day, so not too much that I can complain about, but yep. Yeah.
So that pretty much wraps up uh, what happened on my 2022 uh, mule deer hunt. Uh, couldn't ask for a better buck. I mean, it's a buck of a lifetime for me. Um, I just got to go forward from here. Uh, I'm planning on, planning on doing some more hunts this upcoming year. Hopefully going to work for a guide for the, uh, for the fall and get some experience there and then come back and uh, hopefully get a couple of over-the-counter tags um, in a couple of states next year for 2024. But overall, it was just an amazing hunt, amazing experiment uh, experience. Um, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who helped me out on this hunt. I couldn't have done it uh, by myself. So many people scouted, so many people glassed, um, scoured the internet for information for me. And um, just, I could not have done it by myself. And I just really appreciate everyone's help that that came through and uh gave me a hand for this hunt um it's a pretty close to a once in a lifetime hunt for me and so um everyone's help was super appreciated i also want to give a thanks to the rural nevada photography for getting those amazing shots of of the buck um while he was still you know still alive and uh just being able to have those with him and uh you know honor him and everything uh was super cool and so just huge thanks to him but yeah i uh, look forward to the next hunts coming up and just the shed season and everything coming up and so um hopefully i'll be able to get some more videos out on this channel uh, me and my brother we started the podcast and i'm trying to get the instagram and the tiktok going a little bit more but overall it's been a great experience and i'm just looking forward to this um this upcoming season